I am Brother Stephen Elabo, welcoming you to the Life Bible Church, Charlottesville, United States, a place where the undiluted Word of God is being preached. You are about to listen to our general superintendent, Pastor W.F. Kumoye, as a comfort to share the mind of God with you and your family. I want you to be ready to pick up your pen and your paper and jot down important messages as they will do you good. God bless you and remain blessed. Daniel chapter 3. Daniel The book of Daniel talks about power. Daniel is so thinking about the power of God. Oh, no, no, bad, no, 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 so the book of Daniel. Oh, no, the book of Daniel talks about wonders. He Daniel so You're looking for the wonders of the Lord. Oh, no, 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 Daniel it's right there. Oh, no, no, Daniel no, 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 Daniel talks about miracles. You're Daniel is so miracles. Oh, no, 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 into the miracle. Open the book of Daniel. He was in with Daniel. You find all kinds of miracles. Oh, you you can see you from from chapter one to the very end, miracle upon miracle. Oh, the Latin Nuri can in the Oritoka is a Yanusu. The power has come upon your soul. The wonders have come to you tonight. The miracles have come to you tonight. In Daniel chapter three. Daniel chapter. Three. Daniel Uriketa. And the latter part of verse 15. Here Nebuchadnezzar was talking to believers. At that time he had not known what power God can manifest. If you are a believer tonight, I praise God for you. No power can overcome you. No power can destroy you. If you are not a believer yet, I'm going to show you how to cross the line. And then you will become a believer. And from that moment in your life, you can go anywhere and no power will be able to suppress you. You see, here we're looking at it in verse 15. Here, then, here, we have Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And then we have Nick. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was asking a question. Nebuchadnezzar in Bere, Bere he said, but if ye worship not, he said, I've raised up an idol. And I want everybody to worship that idol. And he said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You say you are a believer. Any believer there tonight? I said, any believer tonight? Every power against your life will fall down today. Every weapon that is pointed that you will be crushed in Jesus' name. He said, he he you worship not. He shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning furry furnace. And he said, and who is that God? And he said, and who is that God? God, I shall deliver you out of my hands. Have you faced such a challenge? The people tell you that this is against you. Have you faced such a challenge? That is all these parts of darkness, they are militating against your life. Have you faced such a question? That is this calamity upon you. This is this upon your life. And and this power of darkness waging war against you. Is, uh, you think you are praying. Is a prayer, prayer, prayer. You think prayer can solve this war. Tonight the Lord will show you. That prayer has power. This has power. And that yoke in your life. That is that night it will be broken. And the cause in your life. Tonight, Tonight is your night. You have to be taken away in Jesus' name. He said, who is that God? I can answer. 
the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Who is that God? I can tell you, it's the one that opened the Red Sea. Who is that God? I can declare to you, it's the one that made Pharaoh and all his child to perish in the Red Sea. Who is that God? It's the one that brought water out of the road. I said, who is that God? It's the God that conquered God. Goliath. That Goliath in your life tonight is your night. I'm somebody there in carry of miracle. I said tonight is your night. Oh, when you can eat your best, you can eat your man that not known who our God is. Oh, when you can eat your best, you can eat your best. The one that raises the dead. The one that heals the sea. The one that opens blind eyes. The one that points so that lame man there rise up. And walk and power will come into your joints. The one that heals the, the people that have madness, madness will go away. All that are sick, 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 Chains are going to be broken. All those fetters are going to be broken. When God says yes in your life, no one can say no. When God says yes in your life, no one can say no. When God says yes in your life, no one can say no. When God says yes in your life, no one can say no. When God says yes in your life, no one can say no. When God says yes in your life, no one can say no. When God says yes in your life, no one can say no. When God says yes in your life, no one can say no. When God says yes in God that shall deliver you out of my hand. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered. Somebody there, you will answer. You will answer God's call. You will answer the challenge. You become a believer. And nothing will drive you back anymore. You will be able to face any challenge of life. You will be able to say, I believe in the Lord. Somebody there, I believe in the Lord. Somebody there, I believe in miracles. Somebody there, I believe in prayer. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, you seek your power. If it be so, you seek you can destroy. If it be so, you seek you depend on magic. If it be so, you seek you an emperor. If it be so, you think there's wickedness in your heart. If it be so, you seek you an emperor. If it be so, you think there's wickedness in your heart and wickedness in your blood. If it be so, you seek you an emperor. If it be so, you think there's wickedness in your heart. If it be so, you think you are making a fire and you are going to throw us inside. If it be so, you think you have the final say in my life. You think that fire is for me? You think you can cut short the life of Shedak, Meshach, and Abednego? If it be so, our God, everybody shout, our God, somebody shout, our God. Our God whom we serve is able. That's enough. My God is able. He's able to save. That's enough. My God is able. He's able to heal. That's enough. My God is able. He's able to deliver. That's enough. My God is able. He's able to give children to the parents. That's enough. My God is able. He's able to break 
every year. Congratulations to our hair You will see it in your body. You will see it in your mind. You will see it in your life. Yokes have been broken tonight. I say yokes have been broken tonight. In your heart, it will break that you. In your body, it will break that you. In your business, it will break that you. Your little child, it will break that you. Upon that woman, it will break that you. You will see it tonight. You will jump for joy. And I say, where is miracle? Where is the power? Look at this. 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 Where Somebody there, he will. Somebody there, he will. He will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. They told you in the dream. What's up, Lord? You saw the tidy up. They said that's final. Except you come. I have got to battle one. And you bow. To wa wa pa wa di pa wo. And you do sacrifice. To ba teri battle rido. And you make this ritual. To ba wa si awe tutuka. You said final. Wa lo di be de fu wo. I came to you tonight. Mo wa po mo to wa la le oni. To apply the power of God to your life. La ti mo agba ro lo ulo nu aye re. To break that yoke right there in your life. La ti ja ja ga na to wa nu aye re da nu. You're free. Somebody there is saying you're free. I'm talking to you tonight. On great deliverance from the Almighty God. Great deliverance from the Almighty God. I've read the book of Daniel for you. I read it on your behalf. So that you'll not have to go through the trouble of reading chapter 1, chapter 2, or to chapter 12. I've discovered something that is for you. The key is already here now. You will open that door. The key is available. I got it from this book of Daniel. I see why people are bound. I see why people suffer. I see why people are crying. I see why people are oppressed. I see why people are poor. I see why people are barren. I see why people are oppressed. I see the receipt. I saw the way. I see the door opening. I saw the way. 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 I I see somebody coming out of dungeon. I see somebody coming out of dungeon. I see somebody coming out of the oppression. They, 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 they just put you there and they lock you up there. I see your padlock being opened. I discovered discover three things here. Number one, the defilement. The defilement go through Babylon. And go from King Nebuchadnezzar. I go to all the princes. I go to all their musicians. I go to all their astrologers. I go to all the people that you find in Daniel. The reason why there is oppression in the world. The reason why there is suffering in the world. I see it is defilement. Then I see the door. Number two is the decision. It's a door of decision. Somebody there is going to be free tonight. Am I talking to anybody here tonight? I said freedom. Help me, help me. Shout it out. Freedom. Freedom has come. I see a decision. The person that decides, that says enough is enough. Enough is enough. The door will open. 
open to you. You will come out of darkness. You will come out of all their chains. I see you coming out. I see you coming out. Decision. Number one. Tell me out there. Tell me out loud. Tell me out loud. Tell me out loud. That is uh, defile me. Only di Number two. Ikeji. Decision. Only pinuna. Number three. Iketa. Deliverance and dominion. Only dandi ati jagaba. You will overcome. Oh shegu. Don't give up. You will overcome. Don't say I'm finished. Even though you are so many, power is coming to I you today. And the Lord, when you open the door, and you say that door is open for me. Don't say I'm not finished. And you say that door is open for me. Don't say I'm not finished. And you say that door is open for me. Don't say I'm not finished. And you say that door is open for me. Don't say I'm not finished. And you say that door is open for me. Don't say I'm not finished. And you say that door is open for me. Don't say I'm not finished. And you say that door is open for me. Don't say I'm not finished. And you say that door is open for me. Don't say I'm not finished. That you have been waiting for. All the promises God has given you. That this year will be the best year you ever lived in your life. Number two. 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 Number only the baje if I go fair. The five minutes of the loss, those who are lost. The baje I went to the sun. The people they they are lost in darkness. What is sun? Is no kuku. Babylon is a large place. Babylon is a big place. Babylon is a defiled place. Babylon is a large place. And this world is like Babylon. Then you know I get a way. Yeah, let you wear Babylon. And Babylon is suppressing people. Babylon is in near where you are. Babylon is sucking them in. Babylon is don't go near where you are. Babylon is a system. And anybody that comes to this world, and it can't pass it. It sucks them up. Oh my God. Sucks them up. Oh my God. It sucks up your brain. You are not able to sing for yourself. It sucks up your mind. You are not able to decide for yourself. It sucks up your life. There is no independence in your life. As soon as you come into this world, as soon as you come into Babylon, it sucks people up. When you are burning, when you shake that machine, can I burn you on Daniel? When you take him, be shaky. I don't care. When you take him, be shaky. I don't care. It sucks them up. Into their system. That's why we're here tonight. The evil thing that sucked you up, that thing will vomit you out. You are sucked into a dungeon. You are sucked into magic. You are sucked into consciousness. Look, Daniel, I said I've read it for you. Chapter two, I discover anger and fury. The madness that became furious. I have something. I have a dream. If you cannot interpret the dream, that's your dream. That's your dream. I'm not involved in your life. I didn't give you the dream. What's the matter with you? I said, if I don't have peace, I'll not have peace. If I don't have peace, I'll not be happy. I'm confused. You are going to be confused. If you don't solve my problem, I didn't create your problem. If you don't create my, if you don't solve my problem, he, he was so angry. Babylon is a city of anger. I don't need to tell you over here in your land, in your community. That one is angry. That one is furious. They take the bottle and break the bottle. You are just passing by the way. And their anger and their fury comes across you. They break your head. They don't respect any police. They don't respect any law and order. When that thing comes, anger has sucked them up. And then I see in Babylon, the cultures in. The cultures in. You come to Babylon, there is a cultures in there. They call them astrologers. They call them astronomers. They call them teachers. The cultures in was at a very high level. 
church in Babylon. Community which you are living. Look at the Buddhism in that corner. Look at secret cult in that corner. And that's what the defilement. The defilement of the Lord. You come to Babylon. There's idolatry. And Nebuchadnezzar said, small, small idols. They collected all of them together. All the gold in the land. And he made a gigantic, gigantic idol. He said, this will be the headquarters of idolatry. Look at your Babylon around you there. Look at idols. Look at the shrine. In daylight. And see what is happening. And Nebuchadnezzar said, he will worship. His family will worship. And everybody that comes to this land, they said they declare holiday. They say it's a, it's a day for ritual. It's a day for festival. And they say anybody, foreigner or anybody, coming from anywhere, if you don't worship this one, according to passing to the furnace of fire. Look at the first people over there in our community. Uh, and you say, no, I am a church goer. Okay, if you will not worship with us, bring your money. Make your contribution. You must contribute. If you don't contribute, it's like you bought something from them. And you didn't buy anything from them. And they're not going to know. Your money. What kind of money? Uh, I don't money. I don't money because they say the headquarters of idolatry. I then you come to Babylon. There's blasphemy there. They find blasphemy. Have you seen them? Have you had them? They're not drinking parlor there. Have you had their blasphemy? Have you had how they take the Bible? And they take the songs of the church. And then they'll be singing it over there. They turn it upside down. And then they make the songs of the church a kind of media for idolatry and for adultery and for fornication. As you come to Babylon, find wickedness at its heart. You find violence at its heart. And that's where we are. That's why we're suffering. But thank God today, we're coming out of this defilement. I said you are coming out of this defilement. The defilement in this land. The defilement in this community. It's, like it's affecting everybody. But somebody there will be like a shed rat tonight. There's an Abednego there tonight. There's a Lisha there tonight. And then you make up your mind. You are taking a decision. Decision. Everybody shall decision. I cannot hear you decision. Mushi people have the voice decision. You see what they, there was immorality. Uh, have you read the book of Daniel before? Daniel. Here is Belshazzar now. And he collected all the instruments in the house of oh, God. God. He, he, he was not an ordinary drink drinker. He drink of beer. He drink of alcohol. He drink of wine. He, he, he was not satisfied. He, he to drink ordinarily from his own cup. He said, take all those things they use in the house of God. That way got out of Judah. The one they used to serve their Passover drink. And then in the days of today, what they used to do for Holy Communion, he said, to take all those seeds. He, 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 was, he was a blasphemous drunkard. And you know how many concubines say that? You know how many wives say that? You know how many visitors were invited? And they all came. And this is the land in which we're living. They will not come to church. 
will go to all these places of idol worship. And the system is sucking in the young people. It's sucking up all those teenagers. And I will see them boys and girls. And you are there tonight. And defilement will lead to destruction. Because that decade, that this Meshazer, he was drinking. And he was blaspheming the name of the Lord. And the hand of God came from heaven. And wrote in a language he didn't understand. And wrote in writing he didn't understand. And he came upon him. His knees began to knock together. A day is coming. A day is coming. That the people of this world. They are out of defilement. Because they don't pass through the door of decision. They don't go through the door of decision. They're not like you tonight. Because tonight you are a man of decision. Am I talking to somebody here tonight? You're a woman of decision. And and you, even though you have been defiled, even those things have gone wrong. But you come tonight out of defilement and you go through the door of decision. Something good will happen to you. Something good is coming your way. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. You will not perish with them. You will not die with them. You will not be judged with them. Belshazzar, Belshazzar. Belshazzar. He avoided the door of decision. And came from heaven. And brought a language he didn't understand. He called all the magicians to interpret. Can you imagine those who are telling occultic people in what they call church to come and interpret Bible for them. Can you imagine somebody they say they are in church and they call secret society people on Sunday to come and read Bible to them and interpret the Bible to them. Can you imagine those people they say they are coming to teach Sunday school. The priest that is in occult him, he even he asks the waste man while he's trying to open the Bible and he's not talking about Jesus. He's interpreting. Can you imagine that? But and so Beshazzar called all the people. Beshazzar is a magician. I want people. He he said, come come interpret for them. The magician will not interpret the Bible for me. I don't know about you. The occultic man will not lay hands on my head. I don't know about you. There's one woman there. He rubs people with her oil in their stomach. Uh, that woman, a witch, will never do anything like that. One, I don't know about you. One of the one called Robby can own off your own raw will be in no co. To buy that mini obi kato jaje ko ni fun ko ora mi ni ku o ma pa je o so they could not give the right interpretation ni to na wo le so tu mo to pe ye here comes daniel ni la wa ri daniel to se that writing is from heaven o ni o ta ko yi o si orun lo ti wa age and you have found one o ni ati won lori won a si ke o gbe o then you have found one ati won o gbe won has turned from defilement to damnation o lo lati nu idi baje lo nu parun from defilement to damnation o ku lati nu idi baje lo nu parun o was open ile ku no wa si the door of salvation. The door of forgiveness. The door of decision. He couldn't see the door. I thought tonight I see the I door. Tonight I see the door. The door of decision. He will escape. I said you will escape. Who am I talking about? I said you will escape. You will not die. You will not be destroyed. That damnation will pass over you in Jesus name I don't see the blood I'm talking about the blood of Jesus when I see the blood I'm talking about the blood of the Lamb when I see the blood I'm talking about Jesus who went to the cross of Calvary to die for you when I see the blood I will pass over you the blood of decision 
decision. And then, as you see that door, are you ready? I said, are you ready? At all the defilements in Babylon, how can we escape? No, but you now, the decision the decision there are many kinds of decisions there are some people that take a decision just for today there are some people that take a decision just for the moment you know, the, the, the land in which we are living you know the value of decision and the generation in which we are living you do not know the value of decision see this young people they decide to go to school and then after spend about a few months there I see them under the bridge I see them on the road and I say why are you not in school said I decided to change they cannot take a decision no. and follow it through Look at that people, they call them couple. They went to the altar just about a few months ago. And now, since they took the decision to marry one another, one year has not passed. This one is living there, that one is living over there. There is a spirit that is scattering them. There is a spirit that will break their decision. This generation of people. People. They don't know about decision. That's why I come to you tonight. Something will come inside you. Power will come inside you. Number two, the decision of a lifetime. The decision of a lifetime. The decision you take, and that decision goes up for one week, and for one month, and for one year, and the the decision is still there. Now you are young. You take that decision. And then you are old. The decision is still there. The decision of a lifetime. That's why you will find the people that got miracles, the people that got transformation, you find them in the book of Daniel. And they were people that had the decision of a lifetime. Listen to one of them. And it's in uh, Daniel chapter 1. And it's in verse 8. And it says, But Daniel proposed in his heart. But Daniel proposed in his heart. There are some decisions that come out of sentiment. There are some decisions that come out of follow follow. There is a decision that comes out of a temporary sentiment. But there's a decision that comes from the head. It just okay, that's what they said. They said, stand up. I stand up. Raise up your hand. I raise up my hand. They say, come out. I come out. The decision from the head. But something from inside your heart. Very deep rooted in your heart. It's planted in your heart. It's coming out of the death of your soul. That's a decision. It's a decision that mixes with your blood. A decision that goes in your veins. A decision that affects your mind. A decision from the top of your to the tip of your toe. A decision in your heart, in your soul, in your mind, in your spirit. And you are a bundle of decisions. My whole life, my Whole I come with this decision. The decision of a lifetime. Daniel proposed in his heart. He said, No matter where I am, the decision I have made, the decision that came out of me today, in Babylon, in Rome, in Judah, in Jerusalem, in Samaria, this is a decision decision of a lifetime. He says today, during the week, this month, next month, this is a decision of a lifetime. And Daniel proposed 
in his heart. Daniel is in Do you know the, the same about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? The decision at the time of trouble. The decision in a time of trauma. The decision in a time of persecution. When the Kadneza said, Is it true? Is it true? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That you will not bow down to my idol. And now, if you make up your mind, if you will change, that you see my face, and you see the color of my face, that you see my fury, if you will change, that will be alright. But if not, I will throw you to the fire. Don't so the don't worry yourself. They made a decision of a lifetime. Up on the mountain, the decision is there. Down in the valley, the decision is there. Before the fire of Nebuchadnezzar, the decision is there. We will not bend. We will not bow. We will not surrender. We will not surrender. Submit. His knees. His knees. He will kneel down to the God of heaven. No more idol. No more blasphemy. No more drunkenness. No more defilement. The decision of a lifetime. Then he had another challenge. He was a man of prayer. And from tonight, you will be solving your problems with prayer. I say for tonight, and the moment you call, God will answer you. I say God will answer you. I'm talking to men and women of decision. You see that heaven is greater than earth. That God is greater than Satan. That magicians are nothing in the sight of the ministers of God. And then you have made up your mind. I'm a man of decision. I'm a woman of decision. All your problems will answer your soul by prayer. That sickness will vanish away. That madness will vanish away. That oppression will vanish away. And then they said nobody must pray. They said 30 days, one month. Nobody will ask anything from God Almighty. He said anything you are going to ask, you will ask from the king. Uh, the king doesn't have salvation. The king does not have redemption. The king does not have the key that opens heaven. And that's what I need. The king does not play about miracle. The king does not have wonders. The king does not play about supernatural. And that's what I'm looking for. And Daniel said, I am a man of decision. All your conspiracy all your evil, all your plan and plotting, I'm going to trample over everything. You will walk on the devil. You will walk on those demons. All the oppression, all the applause will walk over them. Because you are a man of decision. Do I have any man of decision there? I said, do I have any woman of decision there? And then you look at them face to face. I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind. They decide they are going to open up a den of lions. All the lions in your life, they are crushed tonight. And then he went to pray. That's what I love about a man of decision. They said, don't pray, I will pray. They said, don't read the Bible, I will read the Bible. They said, don't go to a Bible-believing church. That's exactly where I'm going. They say, don't mention the name of Jesus. I mentioned that name. And then they said, aha, we saw him, we saw him. And then they went to the king. They said, that man, be very careful what you do to a man of decision. Tonight, as you become a man of decision, and you become a woman of decision, no weapon that is fashioned against you shall prosper. Every mouth that is opened against you, you will condemn. It's the heritage of the righteous. 
and the righteousness of me, says the Lord. And then they caught Daniel. Oh, what a pity. Uh-uh. Don't pity Daniel. He is an overcomer. Don't pity Daniel. He is more than a conqueror. Don't pity a man of decision. He's coming out. Because from decision, he'll come to deliverance. From decision, he'll come to dominion. Then they locked him up in the lion's day. And when the lions saw him, they thought he was their friend. And they, they spread themselves like a great carpet. And Daniel slept all through the night. And the king in his palace could not sleep. Early in the morning, he woke up. And then he came and he said, Daniel, servant of the living God, is the God whom you serve, able to deliver you from the lions. And Daniel spoke out. You will speak out. And Daniel spoke out. My sister, it is your turn. My brother, it is your turn. I'm telling you, from today, you are an overcomer. From today, you're more than a conqueror. You will speak out the voice of victory and the voice of joy and the voice of power and the voice of authority. And Daniel spoke out. He says, so king, live forever. Uh, that, that's what they tell them. He said, live forever. He said, my God, my God, it was a personal knowledge. My God, it was a personal experience. My God, it was a personal deliverance. My God oh, has sent his angel. Oh, no, 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 no. And he shot the lion's mouth. Oh, he didn't shot ten lions and then keep only one mouth open. All those lions in your life, they are shut up. All those sickness in your life, they are gone in Jesus' name. Every big problem, every little problem, every moderate problem, tonight is tonight. Man of decision, woman of decision, they are solved in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And he said, come out. And he came out. And they examined him. There was no scratch on his body. That day has come for you. No fire will burn you. No paw of the lion will scratch you. No conspiracy of enemies will destroy you. No the defilement of the lost. Number two, the decision of a lifetime. Number three now, the deliverance by the Lord. The deliverance by the Lord is coming to you. You will come out through that door. Jesus said, I am the door. Yes, we I am the way. The truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And I come to the tonight. I enter in. Don't we pay Okay, you okay, will enter to the kingdom of the God. And then you will forgive all your sins. No, what you you say, I've not been like Daniel. Oh, what's up, what's that Tonight Daniel? is the starting point. I've not been like Shedrach, Meshach, oh, and Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Tonight is the starting point. Your victory is starting tonight. Your deliverance is starting tonight. Your dominion is starting tonight. The deliverance by the Lord. Remember Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego? He threw them into the fire. And the flame of the fire was so intense and serious. The men who threw them there were burnt down and burnt to death. And Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They got into the fire. And then they stood up. And they were walking. Then somebody, and they come, somebody, and they come, 
I said somebody. If you know the Bible, I said somebody. What's his name? Jesus. Everybody shout Jesus. Nebuchadnezzar also. Nebuchadnezzar he said, let me see the ashes of those people. Enemies will not see your downfall. Enemies will not see your defeat. Enemies will not witness your death. New life is coming to you today. New power is coming to you today. Anointing that breaks the yoke is coming in your life. All the fire of Nebuchadnezzar will be neutralized in your life. And he looks inside his furnace. They were not burnt. They were not lying down. They were standing up. And then they were walking. Majestically. The people that conquered fire. And the people that conquered the fury of Nebuchadnezzar. And the people that conquered in the furnace. When you come to the Lord. When you stand in the Lord. From today. Nothing will conquer your life anymore. Anything they throw at you, there is an invisible wall. Before that thing gets to you, it will strike that wall. That thing will stop right there. Occultism is neutralized. The power of evil is neutralized. And you can never say it. Did we not cast three people into the fire? He said, yes, O okay. king. He said, I see four. He said, one, two, three, four. I recognize that's Shedra. I recognize that's Misha. I recognize that's Abednego. Look at this other one. And the appearance of the fourth one. That's your savior. And the appearance of the fourth one. That's your deliverer. And the appearance of the first one. That's your redeemer. Oh, it's like God to the Son of God. Oh, it's there tonight. Oh, I said it's there tonight. Oh, I said it's there tonight. Oh, it's there tonight. Oh, it's there tonight. Oh, make up your mind. Oh, it will hold your hand. Oh, it will hold your hand. Without him, your life will be a misery. Without him, your life will be filled with suffering. Without him, your life will be oppressed and depressed and destroyed. But with him, he comes from heaven. And there is forgiveness. He comes from heaven. And there is freedom. He comes from heaven. And there is deliverance. He comes from heaven. And there is miracles. He comes from heaven and there is dominion. And Nebuchadnezzar said, Nebuchadnezzar said, Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the living God, he said, come out. And he came out of the fire. Praise the Lord. Somebody there said, praise the Lord. Have you cried? Have you wept? Have you suffered? You're coming out. Those tears Tears will dry up. Those evil things will stop in your life. All the magic will stop in your life. All the powerful culture will stop in your life. Deliverance today. Dominion today. Miracles today. A miracle is coming your way. And you will be able to do it. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my that medical, uh, medical thing you have in your hand. The miracle is coming your way today. And then you go back to the hospital. They will examine you over and over. And they will not see any trace of sickness in front of you. I'm talking about what Jesus will do for you. I'm talking about what healing will do for you tonight. I'm talking about what deliverance will come to you tonight. I'm talking about the deliverance we're going to have tonight. And then they came out. You know, out of that, 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 that gave them now 
promotion. 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 The same Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar that said, Who is that God? Now turned around. He said, I've never seen a God like this anywhere. Your enemies will confess. Your enemies will publicize. They are the people to take your testimony. I want you to walk by you. Tell everybody around. Because because the the is coming to you. Daniel. They, they king also said, Daniel. 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 I know what happened. The lions were not hungry. When Daniel was there, Daniel, you know, the lions had just gone for hunting. And they had a lot of animals. They had eating. They were so full. They couldn't even touch Daniel. They were not hungry. And so the king said, If they are not hungry, all those people that conspired against Daniel, all the enemies of Daniel rounded them up and they threw them into the lion's bed. Were the lions hungry? I said, were the lions hungry? When they see your enemy, they will be hungry. When they see all your detractors, they'll be hungry. Coming out of that dungeon, no matter how hungry those evil spirits are, they say they want to suck blood. They're looking for blood. And you are passing by. You stand up and squat your shoulder. The daughter of the king is passing up. And the son of the king is passing up. But today, nobody will suck your blood. No matter how thirsty they are. Because the spirit of the conqueror is coming upon your life. And then when all those other people that don't have any protection, when they pass on, the people that don't know Jesus, when they pass on, and come and see them, the lions will crush them. That's what I call you today. That you be a man of decision, and then you come to deliverance, the deliverance by the Lord. In that deliverance, their salvation. They will forgive all your sins. They will set you free from your sins. In that deliverance, there's redemption. They will take your name out of the book of slaves. Those who are slaves of Satan. And slaves of occult Jesus. And slaves of evil power. They will give you redemption. They will bring your name in the book of life. In the deliverance, there is healing. Every sickness in your body. Praise the Lord, you are healed tonight. Praise the Lord, you are healed tonight. There is healing in that deliverance. What they call incurable disease. It will be healed out of your life tonight. In Jesus' name. In that deliverance, there is a breaking of every yoke and curse. Any curse that came upon you from childhood, Jesus will break it tonight. And they say this is a particular curse, and it's from the community in which you came from. And they said, look at everybody that came from that place that you have been on them. Tonight, the Lord will single you out. And the Lord will break that curse away from your life tonight. In that deliverance, there is protection. Protection from the powers of darkness. Praise the Lord, you are free. And then there is preservation. Your life will not be destroyed by any enemy. You will live your full life and your full days on earth. And then promotion has come to you. I said promotion has come to you. 
are going to have it in Jesus name but you know it's for the people that make up their minds I have decided the decision of a lifetime is a decision you turn away from everything that has brought defilement in your life it's a decision of your repentance Lord, I come just as I am, I have been defiled, I have been made dirty, but now I hear that Jesus will wash me, that Jesus will cleanse me, that his blood will take all my sins away. Jesus, I come, I come to him as the Messiah. Daniel tells us he will finish up all your sin. He will cancel all the sins the guilt of your sin. Then he will turn you unto righteousness. The door is open tonight. As you say, Lord, I come. 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 A man of decision. A woman of decision. As you stand up. And you come through that door of decision. Deliverance will meet you on the way. Salvation will meet you on the way. Dominion will meet you on the way. We can solve all that problem tonight. All the attack we can solve tonight. All the yoke can be broken tonight. The peace of God can come to you tonight. Just one step. Just one step. The step of decision. Going through the open door. Are you there? I said, Are you there? I can't hear much. I said, Are you there? What are you? You want that? Press that hand up. Wave that hand at me. Do you want to see me, Kiri? You'll come through the door. Deliverance will come to you. Dominion will come to you. It's about an eyes closed. This is the moment of decision. This is the moment of entry through that door. The door of deliverance. The door of salvation. And the door of redemption. You are there. And you want this Jesus to become your companion. You want this Jesus to be the one that will be with you in the fire, will be with you in the furnace, will be with you in the flame, and will you know your power will be able to conquer you anymore. You want to be converted unto Christ. You want to give your life to Christ. You want all your sins to be forgiven. And you want to be saved. And you want to say, Lord, here I am. I'm taking a decision. A decision of lifetime. Wherever you are, joyfully, happily, courageously, confidently, you raise up your hand. Man of decision. Woman of decision. Who are you? Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. The power of your hand. The people know. Tonight I make up my mind. Tonight I make a decision. I'm going with Jesus. He will be my savior. He will be my redeemer. He will be my companion. I will never leave him. He will never leave me. I'm going to put my hand in his side. Rest up that hand. If you're raising up your hand, you will stand up. Be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. What are you there? What are you there? You will stand up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You will stand up. You will say, yes, I am here. Only I make up my mind. Courageously, I make up my mind. I am now going to be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And then the fire will never touch your life. The fire will never burn your life. You know, those who don't make that decision, they can burn over here on earth, and they will burn in hell forever. But say, Lord Jesus, I come. Make up, Lord Jesus, I come. My decision. 
decision God is waiting for you to make up your mind. Woman of decision God is waiting for you to make up your mind. If you're standing up and you want to give give some expression to your decision. You want to say the world knows I give expression to my decision. Open your eyes to so standing up. You are listening to our pastor, Pastor W. F. Kumoye, or other anointed minister of God from our ministry. Let the words sink in your heart and they will do you good throughout your whole life. It is our belief by the grace of the Lord that you will come and worship with us at Deeper Light Bible Church, number 4656 Bravo Drive. We have our service every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 11.30. And we have our Bible study on every Monday from 7 to 8.30. As you are doing so, I, the grace of the Lord will continue to be with you and you will never be the same. Thank you. God bless you.